Okay, so we're talking about the Arizona it's okay to hate gays bill and discriminate against them. And you know, the big deal people are making about is that there were three senators in Arizona who supported the bill. Uh, in fact, it was Bob Worsley, Adam Driggs, and Steve Pierce. They supported the bill, yet they then, after they voted for the bill and supported it, they then sent a letter to the Governor Jan Brewer asking her to veto the bill that they just supported. Isn't that weird? <laughs> they were confused. So, yeah, they were confused. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they were confused, Steve. So here is uh, so here is Steve Pierce, Senator Steve Pierce from Arizona, and he's going to explain what happened. And so uh, we made a mistake, and that's uh, that's about all I can tell you. Is we uh, we we went the wrong way. I, I have to say, I admire you saying that. It's, it's, it's extremely rare in politics that, that that elected leaders utter those words, even though they make mistakes all the time. Yes, and why do you think he's uttering those words right now, Chris Hayes? Now, I love Chris Hayes, but you totally missed. The reason why he's saying he made a mistake was because he got caught making this mistake. Do you understand? Do you understand that he was pandering to the worst elements of Arizona? And then his donors got on his ass about it, his donor class, like the guys who want to see the Super Bowl and the guys who want to have conventions in Phoenix. Those guys got on his ass, and that's why he said, the guy just supported the bill twice, by the way. They passed the same goddamn bill last year, did you know that? And Jan Brewer vetoed it then. They repass it again. Well, and this guy's just totally bullshitting about everything. Here, he, here they ask him about, so that's why I'm saying no congratulations to that guy. No congratulations. Why would you? So it doesn't dawn on Chris Hayes like, oh, wait a minute, why would he be? Why would this be the one time a politician is admitting mm -hmm. his mistake? I wonder why he would be doing that. Mm. Why do you fucking think he's doing that? Okay. So uh, here he is to try to more explain why he did that. When I voted on it, I did not look towards any kind of discrimination at all. I didn't see that in there. Um, yeah, he didn't see any ah. discrimination in the bill that made it okay to discriminate against gays. <laughs> he did, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I went to, that guy went to Niagara Falls. He didn't see any water. <laughs> didn't see it. He's just bullshitting. Wow. He's completely lying. He goes on. It gets even worse. Play the next one. We were not sold on the bill in the very start. Back three <laughs> weeks ago, I went to different groups trying to get some support and say, wait. Mm. Uh, I'm concerned about this. What do you want to do? Nobody really would say anything until we finally voted for it, and then all hell broke loose, and it was uh, it's terrible, and you can see what's been going on. <laughs> what, what is he talking they, about? He just said, wait. But they voted for it last year. They had a whole year to read They had a whole year they to didn't realize the ramifications. He goes, he goes, you know, I went around to all these uh, groups and tried to get support for it, and I, nobody would say anything. There was testimony. There were people speaking out about this, telling him exactly what the, the effects of this bill were going to be on the floor of the Arizona State Senate. Mm -hmm. And he's coming out for the no. I didn't. Burr, who knew? Who there was knew? Whole debates. They there must were, have gone back and forth. They must all the <laughs> points of view were aired at yeah. the time. And if you didn't support it at the why? Then why did you pay, fucking vote for it if you didn't mm. support it at the first anyway? And you were probably blah blah blah. He's, he's full of it. He he keeps going. There's one more. As the days went on after we voted, it was from constituents and the public and the outcry from it. And, uh, you know, I've been listening to things all day that, uh, about the discrimination, and there, I, there, there is none in my view. And I don't, uh, if there is, I'm totally against it. But um, So he's saying that there's no discrimination. He's still saying, to his mind, there's no discrimination in the bill. Yet... He wants Jan Brewer to veto the thing he just supported two years in a row. But there's no discrimination in it, but, and I made a mistake, but she should veto it. But there's nothing wrong with it. But, but people and I think back. there's discrimination. <laughs> Though they're wrong, there isn't. But people think there people is, think. so that's why he changed his mind. Yeah, so that the reason why I bring that up is because he's getting credit from everybody, even people like Chris Hayes saying, hey, congratulations for admitting you made right. a mistake. Right. And that's not what he's doing. He's just covering his ass. That's all. He's not admitting a mistake. He doesn't think it was a mistake. The only mistake was that he crossed his donors. That's the only mistake he made. But isn't the point that he asked for it to be vetoed because, in essence, it didn't discriminate? And Ultimately? That, uh, no, no, he... Ha, you know, I don't, he's, he, well, my point no, is... No, no, I want this bill to discriminate. No, Please pass it. That's not what he's saying. I no. know that, but ultimately, that's really what he's saying. It's not discriminatory enough. He, yes. is, he is admitting he made a mistake, but he's not taking responsibility. 
He's not admitting what the mistake was. He's saying like, and that's what he's getting points from the right, from the left for getting on the appropriate side of this issue. After. And <laughs> sort of admitting <laughs> that the, his vote was a mistake. But he is not, they shouldn't be because they're not giving him, he's not taking responsibility for an actual mistake. Right. For the vote he made in the first place, for his responsibilities to read bills before he votes on them, to understand them before he votes on them. He's not taking responsibility for anything. As a matter of fact, that's one of the most mush mouth things I've ever heard. I couldn't understand what he was saying. Me neither. It was, it was like. You know, I watched this interview with Chris Hayes. Chris Hayes had him on for, I don't know, seven or eight minutes, and he kept just re asking questions. Like, so what did you think the bill did? And then he would just talk mush mouth like that. Right. So I, I don't know what. I, w I went around to get some I support. Around, but you, know, I, you know, I didn't really feel good about it, but nobody said anything, so I just, ah, uh, fuck it, I voted on it. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling. And he's like, I wasn't sold on the bill at first. I wasn't sold on the bill at first. Anyway, well, then why did you fucking vote for it? Two, two years in a row. Why so, did you go around looking for support for it? So that's well, why I brought that up. I think he's playing both sides. Oh, you think he is? Yes, Wait, exactly. What? So that's why I brought that up, because I, I just get these guys who who asked the, the, the governor to veto it are getting way too much credit from the press, all sides of the press, uh, for doing that. And what they really did was just cover their ass.